a fresh start. Sometimes it's important to wipe the slate clean. In this episode of Cisco Tech Talk, I'll explain some ways to do a factory reset on the Cisco Business Wireless CBW 150 series access points and mesh extenders. There are multiple reasons to do a factory reset. In some cases, you may want to reset your entire network to reconfigure the primary AP role. The easiest way to do this is to go to the web user interface. To get to the reset button, navigate to the advanced menu, primary AP tools, and then configuration management. Scroll down and click the reset to factory default button. A message saying this action can't be undone are you sure you want to erase the existing primary AP configuration and reboot will pop up. Click yes, and it'll reset all of the network configuration data. Most often, you will want to do a factory reset to start your entire network out from scratch, but there might be times when you might want to do something different. For example, maybe you want a particular access point that has a configuration issue or other problem to be reset. Maybe the issue is on a mesh extender, to factory reset just one device, you can go to the monitoring menu and then access points. Find the access point or mesh extender you want to reset and select it. Then go to the tools menu and hit the factory default button to reset that particular one. After that, it will reboot that access point or mesh extender. It will then join the network and re-download the configuration data. The last option for a factory reset is to do it physically on the device. If you need to reset either your entire network or just an individual access point or mesh extender, grab the device. If it's an access point from a power off status, meaning the device had been shut down with the ethernet cable unplugged, press the reset button that is next to the gigabit ethernet port. Hold it in while powering the system on by either plugging in the PoE injector or plugging in the ethernet cable to supply power to the device. Press and hold it for about 20 seconds. You'll know you can let go after you've seen the lights on the device cycle through. You will want to wait until the pattern goes from green to green red, and then finally to a flashing green state. Then let go. This will factory reset the individual access point. Now, if you need to factory reset the mesh extender, it's a similar process. Go to the physical device and press the power button on the side when it's plugged in. Press and hold that factory reset button. Hit the power to turn it back on, and again, hold it for about 20 seconds. It's gonna take a bit to go through the initial boot. From there, you can let go, and it'll reset that individual device. If you're on a large network with a lot of devices, and you want to factory reset by hand to reset the whole network, you will want to unplug all of your access points. Once the APs have been reset to factory default, reset the mesh extenders. In most cases, it's going to be easier to do this through the web user interface. Go to Primary AP Tools and then Configuration Management. Reset the primary AP to factory defaults. Go into the web user interface under the Monitoring Access Points menu and reset each access point and mesh extender other than your current primary AP. This gets everything back to factory default state. It's as simple as that. Now you know how to clear everything and start from scratch. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.